This is the important annotation which is provided by New Relic. So what I mentioned, I mentioned time. Go to this API keys page and you have to create this API key here. Bash data configured with endpoint this. Now this endpoint is provided by New Relic. You can create an area graph as well. You can create a bar chart as well. You can create a pie chart as well. And you can evaluate each of the metrics. Get start time and end time. Do you know that you can transfer metrics from your Java applications to external visualization tools like New Relic and other tools? Well, Micrometer can help you do that. In this previous video, we saw the theory of it. Now let's today do a practical for it. So first, this is our code for our Micrometer and New Relic POC. So if we investigate this pom.xml, the most important dependency that we have added here is this com.durelink.telemetry micrometer dependency and this is a specific de dependency for new relic so it uses micrometer micrometer is a standard api you can export micrometer metrics to any of the external visualization tools here we are using new relic okay that is why we have used new relic jar otherwise we have used we would have used an, another kibana jar or data dog jar whatever we want but here we are using a uh, new relic okay so we have added micrometer a uh, new relic um, registry jar okay so other are like just boilerplate dependencies of course if you're building a spring boot application you need to have a spring boot starter if you're building rest endpoints you need to have a starter web actuator are just added for you know some poc or testing purposes okay and yeah, so basically uh, these are the dependencies. I've also added a Spring Boot EOP aspect oriented programming dependencies because we'll, we'll try to do some things with annotations and before and after advice. That is why I added uh, this dependency as well. Okay, so this is our main method. We have simply annotated it with other Spring Boot application. And in the main method, we are simply starting an application. We're not doing anything else here. Please ignore the commented code here. But this is the important code here that we have created a REST controller, okay? And we have created a GET API in our REST controller. So the, the URL for the API is test, okay? And this is the important annotation which is provided by New Relic. So what I mentioned, I mentioned timed here. And I've given a name uh, to my metrics. So I have given com or test or micro. You can give whatever you want depending upon your code. Okay, you can add a description as well. So now what this time annotation will do is it will measure the time taken to execute this test method, which is your rest endpoint. Okay, so it will measure it and it will export it to New Relic as well. Okay, so for sending your metrics to New Relic, you need to of course gives the new relic configuration in your code. So we have created a config class for that. I have called it micrometer config, okay? So at the rate configuration is for specifying to Spring Boot that this is a configuration class. So we have also specified that it will be used whenever we are registering the new relic registry. So whenever this is new relic registry class is provided by, if you see it is provided by this telemetry dependency that we added in our code okay so this is provided by the dependency and whenever this new relic registry will be configured this configuration will also be configured so that is why we have used conditional on class annotation and we have specified that before configuring these two configurations which are there in the new relic registry jar composite meter registry and simple meter export auto configuration before configuring this uh, configure this micrometer config and similarly after configuring metrics auto configure then configure this so we can define before what you should create this bin and after what you should create this bin in spring boot so you know, using these annotations i have defined that so now in this config i have seen some new relic specific configurations for example i have given the api key so this api key you have to go to New Relic, go to this API keys page and you have to create this API key here, right? You have to create this API key which will be used. So you have to create your API key. You have to create a user key also, but we'll talk about that later. But for, for uh, right now, our API key is important. So you have to cre create an API key, copy it, and then you, do, you have to add it here in the API key method in this new relic registry config. So this is a bean 
which will be used for configuring this micrometer config. So you have to add this API key here. Then you need to define step. It means that after how much seconds or minutes you need to wait, the metrics received till then and then send them as a batch to New Relic. Configure 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 50 seconds, 20 seconds, 1 second, whatever you want based on your application. How quick do you want to receive the metrics? And then you need to give it a service name as well. Okay. So right now I've given it New Relic UC metrics. I'll change the service name so that you know we can start afresh. I will write export. Okay. So basically all we need to do to to send a metrics to New Relic is to create a controller rest endpoint, annotate it with time denotation, create this micrometer config that we just saw. If I start my Spring Boot application, let's see what happens. So after clicking on start, we can see that our Spring Boot application has started on port 8080. And we can see this bash, bash data configured with endpoint this. Now this endpoint is provided by New Relic. And we, our application will hit this endpoint to send the metrics. Okay. And it has already started sending some metrics. Okay. We will see what these metrics are. But this is not our metrics, which we have added here. Okay. For our metrics, let's put a end breakpoint here. So in our endpoint, along with the metrics, I want to add some custom information. We can add any custom information that we want using tags so i want to add some custom information into my existing uh, metrics i can we can do it with the help of tags here i'm creating a string builder and for every request that i receive i am simply appending this string builder with the thread name okay and then i am adding that thread name to the same matrix you know com.test.micrometer so I am adding this and then for every tag you need to give a key and value. So the key I have given thread name and the value is the string builder where I am appending my thread name. So it will continue to wait for 5 seconds because our batch size is 5 seconds. For 5 seconds whatever thread names it has it will hold in this variable and it will send and then it will start afresh. Okay. And for this I have created a custom um, method which is meter tag manager. So let's see what I've done in this. This is a custom util class that I've created. In this we are using this method which is you know we are getting the tags and we are adding a new tag here as well. Okay. So get tag if we see we are creating a thread local map for tags. So this is thread local which means it, every thread will have its own copy. And then there is a set multipath, which is also, you know, kind of a map. So for the current executing thread, it will have one copy. And uh, here we are, here we know we are simply using this copy for the current thread. We are getting the tags which are already added. And then we are trying to add a new tag to it. So we are getting the tag for that particular metric. For example, the key is the metric and then the value is a collection of tags. So, so we can see here that the key is the metric name, meter name. We are calling it meter name, it can call it metric name. So this con.test.micrometer. This is also here con.test.micrometer. And then this is your metric name and then key value pairs is for your tag. Every tag has a key and a value. So when we call this add tag, we get all the tags for that metric con.test.micrometer and then we add based on key and value. Okay. So I push this code to build up. You can check it as well. Now let's try to debug this. So I'm putting a breakpoint here and at the last line. Okay. Now I will hit this localhost test method. Okay. As soon as I hit I can see that we are inside our controller method, adding the thread name and then, you know, just to increase the execution of this method, I'm adding some numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So they will be added, not in any specific order. They will be in random order because, you know, we are adding all of them in new threads. Okay. So 
वन कैन कम लेटर टू कैन कम फर्स्ट बिकॉज वी आर डूइंग न्यू थ्रेड्स वी आर एडिंग ऑल ऑफ दैम इन सेपरेट स्टेट्स बट इवेंचुअली ऑल ऑफ दोज टेन विल बी अपेंडेड सो हेयर वी कैन सी दैट वी हैव रिसीव द एग्जीक्यूशन इन आर कंट्रोलर एंड अपेंडिंग द नेम ऑफ दैट थ्रेड ओके टू दिस कॉमन स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर दिस इज जस्ट टू एड सम बिजनेस लॉजिक टू आर कंट्रोलर सो दैट देन ओनली वी लिव टू मैनेज समथिंग इट शुड टेक सम टाइम ओके सो एडिड सम रैंडम लॉजिक हेयर ओके सो वी कैन सी दैट वन बाय वन इट इज अपेंडिंग थ्रेड नेम्स इन टू दिस ओके so you can see it is continuously appending thread names okay and eventually it should reach line number 84 so here we can see that it is adding this key value pair thread name and this this value which is you know the name name of the 10 threads to this same config which we have used here this con dot test this is our metric name so it is adding this information to our metric name okay and as soon as i resume you see this is after every second it will send this uh this metric to new relic it is sending some other metrics as well there are some other key value pairs as well we'll see them as well but it is sending our metrics as well how can we know whether it is sending our metrics or not let's go to new relic and as soon as you come to the home screen of new relic you will see our new relic poc metric it's for whatever name you have given to your application you will see it okay so if you click on this you need to go to matrix explorer this is where you need to go so you need to go to matrix explorer so you are you can see many metrics here okay and you can see your metrics as well com dot test dot micrometer so this is some java java specific metrics why these metrics are being sent because inside java or spring boot code also they have used micrometer so if you enable micrometer it will send these metrics as well if you don't want you can specifically disable that but these are also good performance metrics to have but let's not right now focus on our metrics so this is you know com i've clicked on this com dot test dot micrometer and i guess see a graph here okay why because it is showing average uh if i see count it will show me how many has it received in a time series fashion count we can you know instead of count we can do sum as well so it will total them and create a graph and instead of sum you can do max min whatever you want so there are some aggregate functions av available in new relic for our metrics okay and you can visualize your matrix using different graphs as well so these are the formulas you can apply this is a simple linear graph you can create a area graph as well you can create a bar chart as well you can create a pie chart as well and you can ev evaluate each of the matrix as well let's evaluate each of the matrix so this is you know in the form of events our matrix is sent to new relay so for example this is event this is a event this is one of them you can see this is the description time taken to process that we have added here is a description okay and uh, now it is giving end time and time stamp this is the start time and this is the end time so for every execution you get start time and end time so you can calculate how much time each request has taken okay so this is a very useful metrics and this is why this is sending because we have added time denotation so it specifies that timing is very important so each for you can measure performance you can measure time taken by each request using this okay and you can see that it is specifying that it is it had been called using the slash test method okay and uh, here you can see that key value pair of then the custom key value pair that we added with a key and name of 10 threads that is also being sent it is also showing host name from which host this is showing my local laptop here instrumentation provider micrometer okay and uh, for start time and end time it is also giving it is giving description as well this is the name metric name com dot test dot micrometer so all many events as many events you want if you so if you hit this endpoint many times 
you will get different set names every time and for every execution this uh, metric will be exported to new relic you can see it is exporting metrics to new relic okay so you can see here that it is um, uh, creating metrics for each execution and then you know it is also sending sending json for metrics batch you see this logger is for sending so it is aggregating for five seconds so you see this logger is for metrics so for every five seconds it is accumulating the batch and then it is sending so you can see here that at 07 second it sent one batch after that 7 plus 5 is 12 so at 12 second it second send and another batch then at 17 second then at 22 seconds so basically at at every five second it is sending a batch because we have configured five seconds so all these metrics will be available in new relic here we can refresh and uh, in this if you see the graph it is showing here we click many times so there is a spike we, of course there is a batch of five seconds uh, so here there is why because we click many times right now and if we repeat it again if we you know click many 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 times after five seconds we should see a new 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 spike on new relic so let's wait for a couple of minutes you see a new spike has, has appeared so this is the third spike so basically you know it is an external visualization tool using which you are able to monitor your API calling time as well. So friends, here we have seen how using a simple annotation, we can send your metrics. You can measure the performance of each call and you can see send some custom tags to New Relic. We'll build up on this series to add more and more details and intricacies and the different variations provided by Micrometer and New Relic. But yeah, in this video, we saw a basic metric, uh, metric sending to New Relic and some basic custom tag sending process. So friends, I hope you would have liked this simple demonstration and like and subscribe to our channel to support our efforts. We get many comments by users uh, who say that they like this simple explanation, but we need your support. And how can you support us? By liking this video, subscribing to our channel, pressing the bell icon for notifications. And you can also share this video on your social media. You can share it on LinkedIn. You can share it on Facebook. Twitter, your WhatsApp status, whatever you like, wherever you feel comfortable, your WhatsApp friends group for technical discussions. So wherever you feel, just please support our efforts because we need your support to grow this channel, which would enable us to bring more and more meaningful content for you. So we'll build up on this series. I hope you will support our efforts and please stay tuned and let us know in the comment section what you want to see from us more and more.